guys, my name is Trin and today I'm here to do my bookshelf tour. I was supposed to film this video two months ago, but here I am doing it in March. If you haven't seen my bookshelf tour for last year because I did film this video in 2019, I will have the link to that video down in the description box below and also in the cards. If you are curious, this bookshelf right here, I got this at a yard sale a couple of years ago. And then these two bookshelves are like the Billy bookshelf. So this one has six shelves and then this one has three shelves. They're all from Ikea. Yeah, that's basically it I think for this intro so now let's get right into the bookshelf tour so I'm sitting on my tippy toes because I'm quite short and this bookshelf is much taller than I thought now let's start with the very first bookshelf right here so on the left side I have the your name DVD because my boyfriend got this for me I just put it on my shelf because I love this movie very much it's my favorite movie of all time It's so freaking good so if you have not watched this movie then you should okay it's really really good and I'm pretty sure you can find this on Amazon I think you can rent this for like a few dollars watch this movie is really good over here we have the luna chronicles of course we have cinder scarlet crest winter these are some of the books that i have read for school and then some books that i read for fun for example the book thief and i am the messenger i read these two books when i was like a sophomore in high school and i really love those books i'm gonna keep the copies right here because they are signed by the author because i met him in september of 2019 i think the most underrated book is fox girl by nora oxford keller i read this book for school last year and i did a paper on on this and then I also did like a project on this book it's a very good book it does deal with a lot of heavy topics because it deals with rape and sexual assault and what it's like to be a prostitute in Korea and then on the right hand side we have other books that I read but I don't really know where to put them so I just put them here the Senate of the crane I don't really love this book because this was really disappointing I read this in 2019 and I didn't really like it but I'm gonna keep the copy because the cover is very beautiful but then also I annotate this book I don't think any one wants my annotated copy so I'm just gonna keep this and of course I have Vicious by V.E. Schwab and then The Handmaid's Tale so this book is really really amazing I highly recommend this book if you have not read this and then I have a plush of Espeons this is probably my favorite Eevee evolution my friend Ray gave this to me a couple months ago I love Pokemon if you don't know and then here is my second bookshelf so over here we have the Rick Riordan section so I have the Percy Jackson series the first book is not here because it's on my TBR shelf I'm planning to reread the first book in the next few weeks or so. Then over here we have like the dystopian series. So of course we have the Hunger Games by Susan Collins. And then here I have the Darkness Minds trilogy. And then of course we have the Ark of Scythe trilogy by Neil Schusterman. I like this book. I love this book. I don't want to talk about this book. Then of course I have a Tokipi right here. So this is a gift from Jonathan. I think this is when we first started to become friends. So it's very cute and I'm just going to keep it here. Look, look how cute this is. Oh my god. And now the third shelf of this bookshelf. Over here we have the Angel Fall series. I'm pretty sure the series is called Penryn and the End of Days or something like that. It's so underrated. I remember the first time I read this trilogy, it was so freaking good. Like the second book was so amazing. And over here we have books by Jennifer L. Armentrout. So this is the Lux series. This was so popular a couple of years ago and it was like fun to binge read these books and I keep the copies because they are signed by the author. And then over here we have books by Rochelle me this is vampire academy so i have the first three books in paperback the last three books are in a hardcover and then this is the bloodline series i think so now i am on the floor so you can see the last three shelves well these two shelves i will show you the last shelf don't worry so this one right here this is the very first TBR shelf. So this is the arc shelf. And I did unhaul quite a lot of arcs. So these are the ones that I decide to keep oh my god so over here these are the three arcs that I have read it's actually embarrassing. I really don't read a lot of arcs and I really want to change that because I want to be a good book reviewer so I feel like I should read a lot of arcs. I'm trying to fix that in 2020 and hopefully by the end of this year I will read almost all of these arcs. That's the goal. If I don't accomplish it then it's totally fine. So these are the arcs that I have not read. Some of them you have seen because I just put them in my book house. Like for example these two arcs right here. Sandy gave them to me. She also gave me... Oh this one right here. What if it's us and then frankly in love so it's over there but these are the arcs that I have these four books right here are by Victoria Schwab or V.E. Schwab I put the books here because I ran out of space in this shelf so um we're at the bottom so this is my TBR shelf 
I'm not proud of it. This little bunny is from Vietnam. I'm pretty sure my neighbor in Vietnam gave me this. I still have it to this day. So I'm just gonna put it over here because it keeps falling off. So over here, I have like the paperback books and then these are all in hard covers. This is, I'm pretty sure all contemporary. And then these three books are contemporary. These two right here. So this is my Avatar The Last Airbender comic books. I still have not read them because I'm planning to buy like part two and part three. I just want to read the trilogy all in one sitting. I'm gonna keep them here because I don't want to read them yet. And then over here, all hard covers. I'm pretty sure they are not contemporary because we have fantasy, paranormal, I think this is sci-fi, and then Rick Riordan. So this is like urban fantasy. This is the last one and oh my god, I have a lot of books. I have so much books. Why? So over here, we also have hardcover books. A majority of these books are from Marie Lu, and then I have like A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallero, I believe. These books over here, they're much taller. So for example, Night Film, this book is really, really tall. And then these are my book of the month copies. I really need to read them because these books are pretty good. I've heard like really good things about them, so I really want to read them. And now I'm showing you my second bookshelf. So the books up top, basically they're like school books i still have them because i don't know maybe i'll need them in the future and over here are like the yearbooks that i have from middle school high school all that fun stuff so now let's get to the very first bookshelf right here so this is my fantasy shelf on the left hand side i have books by holly black well a book by holly black it's the darkest part of the forest right now i'm reading the cruel prince once i have read those books you know like the very famous trilogy by holly black i will put them on this shelf so they will be with that book right here by holly black Black. Of course, we have books by Lady Bardugo. Basically, we have the Creature Trilogy and then we have the Six of Crows Duology. I have like two copies of the Six of Crows Duology. Basically, I have the US hardcovers and then I have like the Collector's Edition because I think they look really pretty. So over here, I have The Diviners by Le Bourbre. And then of course, I have Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. I really love this novel. I read this for the first time in 2019. And then here, I have like the Lainey Taylor section. I will say... This is the most beautiful book I have ever had in my entire life. This is the UK edition. So as you can see, the cover is gorgeous. And then on the side, the pages are basically in gold. And that's like the same thing for the second book, Muse of Nightmares. It's Stunning. And then on the side, the pages are in silver. And now my two most favorite shelves the Shadowhunter shows. These are the Shadowhunter tarot cards. They show the characters from the Shadowhunter Chronicles and I put them in this leaf. It comes with the tarot cards so this is like really nice. So I'm just gonna put it over here. And then these cards, I got them recently so I highly recommend watching Chain of Gold reading vlog because I go in depth with these cards. But basically these are the characters from Chain of Gold which is the very first book of the Last Hours trilogy. And then of course I have this necklace. This is the Clockwork Angel necklace and if you have read the Infernal Devices trilogy then you're familiar with this necklace right here. So I have it on my bookshelf and then last but not least this is a ring This is like the family ring. I chose to be a lightwood because my last name does start with an L So I think it's appropriate to choose the um, last name lightwood I will say that when I first bought this it was originally a necklace So basically this ring was on um, like a silver chain But my necklace broke and honestly I just need to buy a silver chain to wear this again But as of now I'm just gonna wear it as a ring so as you can see here, these are all of the books by Cassandra Clare. So of course we have the More Instruments series, and then of course we have the Infernal Devices trilogy, we have the Dark Artifices trilogy, and then we have the Rest Course of Magic, which is like the first book of a new series that she's doing with Wesley Chu. And then of course, Chain of Gold. It's beautiful. This is the first book of the last hours and I'm pretty sure these are like the only two trilogy that she's working on right now. The second book of this will come out I think in September of 2020. So I'm very excited for that because I'm always happy to read new books by Cassandra Clare. And then of course the last three books are The Bane Chronicles, Tales from the Shadow Hunter Academy, and then Ghosts of the Shadow Market. So these three books are like buying up novellas. There are like roughly 10 short stories. This one has 10 short stories and then this one has 10 
short stories. Honestly, this shelf looks beautiful, but this will be changed when new books are coming out because, for example, the second book of this trilogy will come out this year. So once I have it, I will have to move things around because I want to have everything together. I will worry about that problem in September. So this is my second Shadowhunter shelf. And yes, I'm like crouching right now. So let's start from the left hand side. So these are basically Lady Midnight, Lord of Shadows, and then the Inferno Devices trilogy in Vietnamese. I got these copies roughly two years ago because I really want to have books in like my first language. So I was like really happy to have my favorite series of all time in my very first language, which is Vietnamese. And then of course, this copy is the most special copy and I think the oldest copy from Cassandra Clare. So I got this back in 2013. Basically, I unhaul all of the old copies because I already have like the hardcover. So I don't need like the paperback, but I kept this one because this is really special. It is signed by Cassandra Clare and this book started it all. If you don't know, this is the book that got me into reading back in 2013. I owe a lot to this copy alone. I have it right here because I love it very much. I got two pins from Lord of Shadows. So this is the Antidote rune and then this is the Heavenly Fire rune. So I got these pins from Sandy because she has like extras and then she just sent them my way. So thank you so much Sandy. And then this is also from Sandy. Basically these are postcards and they have the characters from the Dark Artifices trilogy. I'm very, very, very fortunate to have this. And of course, thank you so much, Sandy, for giving this to me two years ago. And then of course, we have the Infernal Devices trilogy. So this is the paperback edition. You see like Will, Jim, and Tessa, and there's like a mirror on the spine. And of course, the cover is also gorgeous, okay? So I think my favorite is probably Clockwork Princess. So as you can see, we have Tessa on the covers. Then of course, we have the graphic novels of TMI. So this is part one. This is part two. Part three is coming in the mail next week. Okay. Yes. I did order part three. And of course we have like the manga editions of TID. So this is Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and then Clockwork Princess. And then over here we have like the special editions of Cassie's books. So this one is like the Shadowhunter Codex. This is by Cassandra Clare and Joshua Lewis. And then of course we have City of Bones. This is the 10th anniversary edition. And then Clockwork Angel, 10th anniversary edition. So these two copies are beautiful okay i have lord of shadows and this is the waterstones edition i don't have lady midnight and i really want to get it but it's just so rare to find that copy if you do know where i can get one then please let me know and then of course i have queen of air and darkness by cassandra claire this is also from waterstones and then this one the rest Rose of magic is also from waterstones my jane of gold copy um is not here yet but i will get it soon this is the last book from this um shadow hunter shelf basically this is an illustrated history of notable shadow hunters and denizens of downward by cassandra claire illustrated by cassandra g this copy is like perfect for people who love the shadow hunter chronicles they have like the portraits of the characters and then like a um small bio of the characters i really love this copy and this was gifted by my friend mika so thank you so much for this copy because it means everything to me and then this one i got this as like a swag for queen of air and darkness i believe so this is the character from the Shadow Hunter Chronicles if they were in like fairy tales and such. It's pretty cool but it's not really necessary um, for your collection and yes I'm really hot right now because I am wearing a sweater dress and this shit makes me hot. And now let's go through the fourth bookshelf. So over here we have my memoir slash book of the month copy. So these are paperbacks and these are memoirs. This is I'm Telling the Truth But I'm Lying by Bassie Ickpe and this is Pilgrim at Tinker Creek by Annie Dillard. As for hardcover I have The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls and Becoming by Michelle Obama. I really love reading memoirs. I don't read them as much as I want to, but I'm making an effort to read um, a lot this year. So hopefully by next year, you will see the memoir section being expanded. And then of course, we have books by Taylor Jenkins Reid, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, one of my favorite books of all time, and then Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And then here, I have two copies from Book of the Month. So this is The Kiss Coach 
portion and then Wicked Fox. So this is much different because these are not books. This is my nail polish collection because I love wearing nail polishes. The brands that I wear the most are KO Polish and Light Slacker. But KO Polish is gone forever because there's like an issue with um, the owners and now you can purchase nail polishes from Light Slacker which is owned by Kathleen Lights on YouTube. I highly recommend these two colors. So this is Heffa and this is Girl Power. These two colors are so freaking pretty. Right now I have on Girl Power. So Girl Power for these three nails right here or like these five nails. For the burgundy color I have on Havana Nice by Kewa Polish but you cannot get this anymore like I said because the brand is gone. It's completely gone but you can still purchase some other things from Light Slacker. So yeah check it out. We're on the floor again and I'm so happy to be sitting because my legs were hurting. So the fifth shelf is my comic books slash manga slash graphic novel shelf. So on the left hand side, I don't think you can see it, but on the left hand side, I have my Avatar The Last Airbender collection. I have the DVDs right here. I love this show and if you have not watched this show, then do it. And then I have some pins of the characters and I think my favorite pin has to be this one. Actually, you can't see it, but it's when Aang goes into the Avatar state. And then here I have almost all of the comic books from Avatar The Last Airbender slash The Legend of Korra. And then of course I have The Rise of Kiyoshi by F.C. Yi and Michael Dante DiMartino. The thing is, this is not a comic book. This is actually a novel, but I don't want to separate this from my collection. So I'm just gonna put it over here. So yeah. It makes sense in my mind. And then over here I have my manga for Formula Alchemist. So I have read all 27 volumes last year in 2019 and I really really love it. I also love the show so I highly recommend watching Formula Alchemist Brotherhood. It's on Netflix. It's so so freaking good. It's phenomenal to be honest. And then of course I have the Babysitter's Club. I know that the targeted audience is for young children but I still love it because it's so freaking good and yeah. I highly recommend reading them if you want to. And here we have some graphic novels. So I think my favorite has to be The Prince and the Dressmaker by Jen Wing. And then of course I have other graphic novels like um, Check Please, of course. And then I have Bloom. And then I have Gender Queer. This one is actually really good. I highly recommend reading this because I think this is really, really amazing for people from the LGBTQ community. And here, this is the last shelf of this big ass bookshelf. So over here I have my poetry books. I don't read a lot of poetry books nowadays, so I really want to change that but still I have a pretty decent collection and then these are the books that I read for school. A lot of them are like classics like for example Hard Times by Charles Dickens, um, Pride and Prejudice, I have like The Canterbury Tales, of course The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have read this book and then here I have like the big books. These used to be on top of my um, bookshelf like the one on the left the very first one that you saw but I put them here and honestly it doesn't look too bad but I kind of want to rearrange some things here and there so I think I'm gonna lay them down because this looks really awkward. I think the most special book is definitely this one. So this is Full Metal Alchemist. This is the complete art actually. So my boyfriend got this for me last year so I'm very grateful for this and this shit is huge okay. It's so big so I'm just gonna put it over here because it's really really big so yeah, I'll fix this section later. This is the final bookshelf. I'm so happy that we're at the end. Well, almost at the end. So I did this collage thing, I think two years ago. And honestly, I kind of want to take them all off and just do something different, but I'm lazy. So this is what we're going to work with. So these are like the tarot cards from Furry Lou. So they feature the characters from the Harry Potter series, because as you can see, this is my Harry Potter collection. So yes, hi, I'm showing my face yet again. This is my Harry Potter collection like I said and honestly I really like how everything is organized. The very first thing I want to show you is this one right here. So this is Mad-Eye Moody's one. This is um, what you call it a chocolate frog card. This is the founder of Ravenclaw, Rowena Ravenclaw. This is my U.S. heart covers. I'm pretty sure everyone is familiar with the covers. This is what like the third book look like. I have the cursed child right here. I don't hate it to be honest but it's nice to shit on it sometimes so I don't know. I just have my copy right here because I don't want to get rid of it and then I have some other things as well like Tales of Beauty the Bard, Quidditch Through the Ages and then Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them and then this wine glass right here is from a bookish subscription box. I just don't remember which one. I think it's called Unplugged and then here I have like the 20th anniversary edition of the first three books. So this is the very first one. This is Philosopher's Stone and then this is Chamber of Secrets so it's a little bit different and then the third one is Prisoner of 
Azkaban. And then of course I have two copies of Deathly Hallows. This is the UK edition. So this is like the newer cover and it looks really cute. And I love like the size of the books because it's really short and it's really tiny. So cute. And then this is the old UK covers. This is the Harry Potter series but in Vietnamese. I am so so happy to have this in my collection and shout out to my dad because he was the one who got drunk and spent his money on these books for me okay shout out to him. So it has Hogwarts on the spine and then this is what the cover looks like. I am so happy with how everything looks right here okay. It's beautiful in my opinion. <laughs> so this is the very first bookshelf. These are my YA contemporary novels. Over here I have paperbacks because I kind of like to differentiate the paperback from hardcovers. I tried to mix them up but oh my god I did not like how everything looks. I'm very happy with this arrangement. So over here we have some paperbacks and then here we have the hardcovers. So my favorite has to be of course Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson. So this is the second shelf, of course. The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo, one of my favorite books of all time. I totally forgot to mention that I organized the books by authors. So here, like I have Jenny Han, I have Nicola Yoon, and then I have Elizabeth Acevedo. So these are like my TBR books, and I decided to take out some books from my TBR shelves and just put them over here because I had like a pretty large space on this bookshelf. So these are the books that have like the authors that I read. So for example, um, Samira Ahmed, Morgan Madsen, John Green, Jen Wilde, Maureen Goose. But at the same time, there are some others that I have not read. Like for example, Adip Karam. I really want to read this book because I've heard really amazing things about this. I'm just gonna put the book here. And here, this is the very last shelf. So this is my new adult slash adult romance novel shelf. So over here, I have Jennifer L. Armentrout. I have Tamara Weber and then Samantha Young, Lisa Raven. And then of course, Christina Lauren took like a lot of space on this shelf because I read a lot of books from Christina Lauren. I will say that this is actually YA contemporary but since I don't want to separate the authors so yeah I'm just gonna put it over here and then of course I have Red, White, and Royal Blue and that book is New Adult so this is the very last shelf. This is the end of the bookshelf tour. I'm so happy that I'm done because I'm so tired. So that is basically it for my bookshelf tour 2020 edition. It's been fun to film this but at the same time I'm in pain. <laughs> It's like 6.15 right now and I've been filming for at least an hour and not just that. Me crouching? Oh my god, my legs hurt so much. So I am in pain a little bit but it's fine. I'm very happy to film this video and I cannot wait to edit it and put it up. And like I said, if you want to watch the bookshelf tour that I put up last year in 2019, I will have the link to that video down in the description box below. And honestly, I'm tempted to rewatch the video because I kind of want to see what I did in the past. So yeah, um, I'm very happy with everything. I'm gonna go now. I'm very hungry and I really want to do some home. Did I just say I really want to do some homework? I have never ever said that, but I need to do some homework, so I'm gonna go. That's basically it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye!